there's a lot of proper Chinese cars you can buy. BYD has actually just set up in, in Rwanda, right? Mm -hmm. But BYD are the guys behind uh, these buses that we see. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, the go absolutely. And, and so on. So yeah. instead of us trying to build something locally, mm -hmm. why don't we partner with guys that have already mm -hmm. built a vehicle from ground and pick it up from eighty percent, assemble locally, mm -hmm. and then take the technology? Mm -hmm. If you actually, if if you look at how much money it, it, it needs to even build a pro box, we are talking of more than a billion dollars, mm -hmm. just a pro box that you sell for five hundred thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. But if we go outside, mm -hmm. borrow te the technology and go to, you know, schools like JQuart and whatnot, mm -hmm. and then combine this, you know, a proven technology and proper talent, mm -hmm. and then build a vehicle for the African market. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be... That the, makes a lot of sense. Be, it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Efficiency. Yeah, efficiency. Now, uh, the some will still say electric vehicles or electric e-mobility is, is still kind of unpopular. Yeah. Um, in fact, most people mistrust anything with a government fingerprint on it. <laughs> like the electric bikes we were talking about. Yeah which haven't picked up as well as, yeah. as expected or as hyped. Uh, why do you think this is so? Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not active in the bike scene lately. I was uh, two, three years back. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think there is a mismatch of communication, right? Mm -hmm. Guys who actually have the bikes really love it. Mm -hmm. Guys who don't have the bikes are picking the bad stories about the bikes mm -hmm. when they don't have it. You know, like you're speaking from the First other hand. side. Second yeah, hand, yeah, yeah. Second hand information. Stories but, you know, your Boda guy actually charges the, the bike for like 500 shillings and goes the whole day, 100 plus kilometers. Mm -hmm. How much money does it need for you to fuel your Boda to go the same distance? Mm -hmm. So basically, your Boda guy is taking home 500 shillings more, which is a lot of money, you know, for someone who's taking home 1,000 shillings. Now they're taking home 1.5x. That's what makes sense. And of course, it's a new technology. There, there, there will always be teething issues, but there, we, we need to understand that not everything is perfect, especially when it's starting. Mm -hmm. The first electric board, I think, came to Kenya at probably COVID era. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, let's give them some time. Give them some time. Yeah. Now, the, when you talk about e-mobility, um, in many spaces, that conversation goes hand in hand with conversations around climate change and, and you know, basically being kind to the environment. Yeah. Uh, but somebody who is looking at that situation will ask, um, are these uh, uh, vehicles actually sustainable? Is the technology behind these vehicles sustainable? We're talking the battery technology. Uh, we're talking um, the cost of actually manufacturing. Yeah. Cost not just in money, but cost to the environment. Is it sustainable? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, so again, <laughs> Africa in the bottom of, you know, this whole climate change right. um, story. So if, if I bring a border to you and tell you this is, I mean, you will save the environment. It, it doesn't make sense to me, mm. right? Mm. But if I tell you I'm giving you more money to do more things, it makes a lot of sense. It does. But now, going back to the climate change issue, um, an electric, a, 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 a very basic um, combustion engine car has 4,000 moving parts. Mm -hmm. An electric vehicle is 400. Mm. So all of a sudden you've removed 90% of bolts, simplicity. I mean, electric vehicles don't have services. I've, I've been running a fleet for the last two years. I've only done maybe one or two services. And then if you look at the inflows into going into vehicles, you know, your oils, mm -hmm. a, a common vehicle takes five liters of oil mm -hmm. for 5,000 kilometers. So basically every 1,000 kilometers you need a liter. In a vehicle that goes 60,000 kilometers per year, how much oil is going to the environment? Mm -hmm. How is this disposed? For electric vehicles, there are some issues with mining of you know, rare earth minerals Correct. and things like yeah. that. However, we've gotten to a point whereby you know, your lithium is no longer needed. Again, it's, it's a new technology. Things are becoming better with time. There are some issues, but as, as we grow, these issues are now being pulled away. Better